Robert Maxwell, a media mogul, a man of immense wealth and power, and, by some accounts, a ruthless manipulator who didn't hesitate to crush those who stood in his way. But in 1991, Maxwell's life ended under mysterious and suspicious circumstances. His body was found floating in the Atlantic Ocean near his yacht, the Lady Guy Lane. Was it an accident, suicide, or something far more sinister? Welcome to Investing Horror Stories. I'm Gareth Soloway, and today we're exploring one of the most chilling and unresolved mysteries in financial history, the death of Robert Maxwell. To understand Robert Maxwell's rise and mysterious fall, we have to go back to the 1980s. Maxwell was a larger-than-life figure who controlled one of the world's largest media empires. He owned newspapers, publishing companies, and was seen as a powerful force in both business and politics. But behind the public success, his financial empire was teetering on the edge of collapse. What most people didn't know at the time was that Maxwell had been plundering the pension funds of his employees to keep his crumbling empire afloat. By the time of his death, nearly half a billion pounds had been siphoned away and his companies were in massive debt. It was a ticking time bomb, but Maxwell managed to keep the facade intact for a while. But in November 1991, everything came crashing down. Maxwell was aboard his luxury yacht, the Lady G Lane, cruising off the coast of the Canary Islands. Just days earlier, he had been in fierce negotiations with banks, desperately trying to secure more loans to cover his staggering debts. And then on November 5th, his body was found floating in the sea. The official story? Maxwell had fallen overboard, possibly while adjusting the ship's rigging. The authorities labeled his death an accident, though some speculated it might have been suicide. But was it really that simple? Or was there something more sinister going on? Let's consider the circumstances. Maxwell's businesses were on the verge of collapse. The financial fraud he had orchestrated was about to be exposed, and his empire was falling apart. He had everything to lose. Yet there were strange inconsistencies. For one, Maxwell was an experienced yachtsman, unlikely to make a mistake that would send him overboard. And there were reports that his body had bruises that couldn't be explained. Some began to wonder, had Maxwell been murdered? Perhaps by someone seeking revenge for the financial devastation he had caused, or by powerful enemies who feared what Maxwell might reveal if his empire collapsed. And then there's this. Just weeks before his death, Maxwell had been in secret negotiations with high-ranking officials in several countries, it's said he held sensitive information that could have brought powerful people down. To make matters even more complicated, in the weeks following Maxwell's death, investigators uncovered a financial nightmare. His companies were bankrupt, and the pension funds he had stolen from were empty. It was one of the largest corporate frauds in British history. Was Maxwell murdered to prevent him from revealing more? Or did he choose to end his own life, unable to face the collapse of his empire? In the years since Maxwell's death, the mystery has only deepened. Despite official reports labeling it an accident, many remain unconvinced. Some believe that Maxwell's death was a carefully orchestrated assassination, carried out by those who wanted to silence him before his secrets could be exposed. Others think he was pushed overboard by someone close to him, perhaps even someone on his own yacht. But the biggest question of all remains, if Maxwell didn't fall by accident, who had the most to gain from his death? Was it the banks furious at the collapse of his empire? Was it his rivals finally getting their revenge? Or perhaps it was someone even more powerful who feared what Maxwell knew and what he might have been willing to reveal. The death of Robert Maxwell remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in corporate history. The truth may never be known, but one thing is certain, the ghosts of Maxwell's empire still haunt the financial world today. 
His death was only the beginning of a financial scandal that would leave thousands of employees without their pensions, and his legacy remains forever tainted by the secrets he took to the grave. If you've got a theory about what really happened to Robert Maxwell, I want to hear it. Join the conversation on Twitter using hashtag Investing Horror Stories. And don't forget to subscribe to Investing Horror Stories on Verified Investing's YouTube channel. Next time, we'll dive into the mysterious and sudden collapse of the stock market during the flash crash of 2010, a trillion dollars lost in just minutes with few answers. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time on Investing Horror Stories.